Hello, and in this screencast for Apache Isis, I want to show a new feature that we have for the RESTful API. What I'm uh, going to be using is the To-Do app, that is one of the Isis add-ons, and I have the To-Do app running uh, here. And the purpose of this particular uh, feature is to simplify the representation that we get from the from the various resources. Um, those resource representations are great if you're building a sophisticated app, but if you want to build something very straightforward, then th we can use content negotiation to um, request a more straightforward, uh, simple uh, representation. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go to get hold of a reference to an, a to-do app, a representation of a to-do app. Um, so I can do this just by invoking uh, one of our repository actions. This is all standard RESTful object stuff. So here we are, we've got um, a representation of of item of to do no, item, uh, to do object forty five. I'm trying to say, my, tripping over my words there, and this is the standard representation. And there's lots of good stuff here, but it's quite complex. If I want to get the um, the dis the 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 value of the the description property, you can see it's here. And if I want to get the value of the category property, then it's over here. And I want to get the subcategory. You see, you've got to know where to get the data. It's all well defined, but the, you, you have to process quite a lot of stuff. So over here, I have a um, a little plugin where I can request a different uh, profile. So I have here basically. Uh, an ISIS specific profile um, and so having turned that on if I request the same uh, URL then you can see what I get this time is much more straightforward description by bread category domestic that's a very straightforward representation that I could then you know put into some fairly standard widget also this particular object has got a collection and so you can see that we're also returning that information as well and if you were to do this with the standard representation of RESTful objects you'd need to make a whole bunch of uh, extra calls so that's a, a, a saving as well from a network point of view but if you want to get hold of the original uh, representation, it's still here on this dollar dollar ro uh, node. So it's all there for all the different uh, forms and things to let you do what you need to do. So this feature is available when you hit the representation of a domain object. Um, it's also available, and I can perhaps demonstrate this by going through to one of the other links here. So if I follow through to um, one of the collections, so this is a representation of the similar to collection of this uh, same uh, domain object, then you can see that we have a similar thing kicking in. This time I'm getting back an array, not a JSON object, but a JSON array. And down at the bottom there's a special, in fact it's this one here, It's there's a special um, object if you like that's just got a single element in there which is dollar dollar ro so that gives you all the the same stuff and then finally if i go back in time a bit to um to my to do a bit further services to do app so this is this uh, url is to um, invoke an action and that could return an object or a list. In this case, it's returning a list. And so you can see that this also is being represented as a list in a similar type of fashion. And, and then again, here you've got the, the representation. So um, that's the feature. Um, if you want to turn off the dollar dollar RO stuff, because perhaps you don't need any of this, and it's just a very, very straightforward um, app, then you can do that as well, just with a slight modification of the headers. So if I go to a different profile again. All this is doing is adding in an extra suppress equals true parameter on the accept header and if I hit any of these resources this time you'll find that there's actually no, none of this dollar dollar RO thing. Uh, the same with the representation of an object. Um, that uh, There's no dollar, dollar RO at the end of that as well. Okay, so this is uh, a feature that's coming in 1.11.0, and uh, but you can build from uh, the snapshot in the meantime and try it out. Okay, hope th hopefully that was useful for you. Cheers.